Good afternoon and welcome back. Today we're going to discuss some of our core and branded shrub programs that we have with the Home Depot. We're also going to find out a little bit more about Lone Star Growers. Today we're going to take a closer look at our primary shrub categories. This includes our core non-flowering evergreens, core flowering evergreens, our branded and rose programs. We'll also be taking a look at our merchandising standards, pallet laydowns and displays, and caring for shrubs. Who is Lone Star Growers and what role do they play for the Home Depot and Altman plants? The first category we're going to take a look at today is your core non-flowering evergreen shrubs. Pictured are four of the most popular items that we offer. The Japanese boxwood, the dwarf yopon hollies, golden euonymus, and the dwarf burford holly. These are the items that are in most demand from customers as well as landscapers. Often these items are bought in larger quantities. Your number one selling skew is the one gallon Japanese boxwood. Now, let's take a peek at our core flowering evergreen program. Pictured are four of the most popular items that we carry in this line, the Indian hawthorn, azaleas, gardenias, and Texas sage. Any or all of these items are sure to liven up any commercial or private landscape. Vines, pines, and key items. Star jasmine, pink jasmine, and honeysuckle are great items for your landscape while bougainvilleas, esperanzas, and hydrangeas can be used in many different ways. You can utilize them as patio-ready type items or as a part of your landscape. We also offer spiral junipers and cypress plants as a part of our shrub program. Now, let's take a look at our branded programs. We'll start with the shrubs. These items will be featured in special branded colored pots with additional labeling or information tags. Pictured are a few of the most popular items. Encore Azaleas, Southern Living Nandina and Laura Pebblem, and First Edition Crepe Myrtles. These branded items will be planogrammed on the front 16 feet of one of your shrub tables. They are also great items to feature on end caps and pallet drops. When merchandising branded product, we always want to make sure that we're always merchandising with the brand name facing out and not the labels. If the product comes in different sizes, we also want to make sure that we're always mirroring that product. The bottom of the pot should always be to the edge of the shelf. And as we talked about before, branded product goes on the front 16 feet followed by your core programs per your POG. Here's a quick tip when merchandising your branded tables. Customers have confidence in brands. Live goods and plants are no different. When merchandising your branded table, never face the labels out. You always want to make sure to feature the brand name when merchandising your tables. Always keep the brand name facing out. And now let's talk roses. Your primary rose display will feature brands such as Knockout, Drift, and Miranda Lambert. Your newest to market rose is the True Bloom Collection. We also carry a basic bud and bloom as well as tree roses. Your drift roses are similar to carpet roses. Daily rose maintenance is key to maintaining a vibrant, colorful rose display. Deadheading and pruning promotes new growth and flowers. When deadheading roses, always prune back where the stem meets the next healthy growth. Always remember to cut in a 45 degree angle. Make sure roses are watered daily, but not overwatered. Too much water, especially in cold or damp climates, can cause disease to the plant. Always protect roses from cold, damp climates and areas. The most common rose diseases are black spot and mildew. This can be avoided by keeping roses in a sunny, dry location. And now for some fun facts about Altman plants. Did you know that Altman plants has an award-winning rosarian leading our rose development and breeding programs? Meet Mr. Ping Lim, industry leading and renowned rosarian. 
Ping has developed many new genetics and rose varieties over the years, his life's work. His newest rose collection was introduced to consumers in 2019 and marketed under the brand name True Bloom. His double tin rose won numerous awards and even made the cover of American Nurserymen in 2018. A side fun fact, the award-winning double tin rose is represented in the True Bloom collection identified under the name True Passion, fitting for a man so passionate about the rose. Merchandising standards for shrubs are very similar to that of the color tables. Make sure that the bottom of the pot is always to the edge of the shelf, that labels front faced on all black pots. When merchandising branded product, always remember to feature the brand name. You wanna make sure to merchandise to the POG that your product maintains proper spacing, that your tables are signed and your area is clean and organized. And remember, never leave any bad plants behind. Pictured is what a walk-ready shrub yard looks like. Merchandising basics. Always mirror one and three gallon like items together on the same table, as pictured on the bottom left. You have one gallon and three gallon Japanese boxwood mirroring each other. Always merchandise the smallest pot sizes on the table closest to the drive aisle and merchandise your shrubs small to tall like the picture on the bottom right. Another key component to maintaining the best presentation for your shrub and rose tables is to always maintain seasonally appropriate spacing on your tables. During the spring, when sales are strong, we merchandise pot to pot. This allows us to fit as much product onto the tables for customers to buy. During the summer and fall, when sales slow down, we merchandise our tables tip to tip. And between orders, we always wanna make sure that we're spacing the product out so we're not leaving holes on the tables. When merchandising non-branded black pots in any size, we always wanna make sure that we're merchandising with the labels facing out and that the bottom of the pot is pulled to the edge of the shelf as shown in the picture on the left. Always make sure to touch every table every day and never leave your table looking like you just don't care. Maintain expectations daily on all shrub tables. Never leave your table looking like the photo on the right. First thing every morning, you wanna walk all tables, including shrubs, and call out any bad plants. Scrapping out bad plants daily is essential to maintaining a clean, beautiful garden center every day. When pulling scrap, always use either a flatbed or a shopping cart and organize for easy counting. Never use green or silver delivery racks to store bad plants on. Always remove scrap from the sales floor before leaving the store. Each month, we will complete an inventory on shrubs. When we do, we always spot check the dates to ensure we don't have any product that's been left in the store too long. The date is on the label and it's listed backwards. This item, for example, was delivered on 10-7-2020. Often during the springtime, we will utilize the extra space on the aprons for pallet laydowns. When doing so, we always use the brown standard pallets for our displays. We never use the blue Shep palettes. Our palette drops should only be one palette high. They should contain one item or color per palette. And we want to make sure that we're spacing the product evenly as it sells down. Plant care and shrub table maintenance. Shrubs need to be watered every day. When merchandising your tables, make sure to randomly pick up a pot or two per variety to ensure that the whole display has been watered thoroughly. When watering shrubs, make sure to water the soil and not the plant. Overhead irrigation is okay only if it is run overnight or early in the morning. Watering during the day can cause some of the leaves to burn. You should always address watering concerns with the store management. Now a little bit about Lone Star Growers. Lone Star Growers is owned and operated by Altman Plants. Our facility is located in San Antonio, Texas and has over 600 acres of growing space. We provide great top quality shrubs to the Home Depot. We also supply our products to other retail customers and independent nurseries throughout the Southwest.
Now let's go ahead and pivot from our merchandising and shrub training into our safety topic of the day, safe lifting. Safety should always be your top priority every day. First, let's go ahead and talk about smart lifting. What is smart lifting and how can I apply these techniques to keep myself safe while working in the garden center? First, you wanna size up the load. Assess the size, weight, and shape Assess whether the load actually needs to be moved and where the load is going to be placed. Second, you want to move the load as close to your body as possible. The whole hand should be used to ensure a firm grip. Third, always bend your knees. Maintain balance. Keep your feet apart and in a comfortable position. Minimize bending at the waist and bend your knees to a semi-squat. Next, you want to raise the load with your legs. Lift smoothly without jerking and maintain the normal curve of your spine throughout the lift. And last, turn your feet in the direction that you want to move the load. Avoid unnecessary bending, twisting, or reaching. Change the direction by pivoting or turning your feet and not your back. To set down the load, squat down and keep your head up. Let your legs do the work. Next, we're going to talk about the power zone. The power zone is between mid-thigh and mid-chest height. It's comparable to the strike zone in baseball. This is where the arms and back can lift the most with the least amount of effort. Always keep the load close to your body. Take a look at the diagram to see where your power zone is. Let's talk about team lifts. It's pretty straightforward. Always use a team lift for lifting heavy objects. Always use a team lift with oversized or awkward loads. Always use a team lift with top heavy items. And always use a team lift for anything out of your comfort zone. Don't ever hesitate to ask for help. When pushing or pulling, you always want to remember to keep your back straight. Always use your legs to push and avoid excess bending and twisting. And if a load is too heavy, always ask for assistance especially on slopes and inclines. Remember that uneven loads require increased push and pull forces. When pushing racks or using pallet jacks, the handles should be positioned between your shoulder and the waist. We would like to thank you for watching today's training topics on shrubs and safe lifting. We hope you enjoyed the preview of tomorrow's training and truly hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you again, and we'll see you tomorrow.